to you. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is now day 15. We are officially halfway through. But yeah, let's get started with this look. I have a small concealer in so long, this feels weird. Um, so foundation today, usually I be going in with my Fenty, but I can't be using that all the time. That costs money and it's sold out everywhere, so like, I shouldn't be wasting it. So I'm just going to go in with these two foundations by L'Oreal. Um, it's Cream Cafe, which is my color during the winter time, and I'm just going to mix a little bit of, what's it called? Cocoa, in, like literally a little, just to, you know, make it a little bit more brown. So I'm going in with the Creme Cafe by L'Oreal True Match, and I'm also going in with a bit of cocoa on my cheeks just to darken the foundation a bit. And guys, this was supposed to be a talk through, that's why I'm talking, but my camera decided to, you know, cut in and out. It's really been bugging me lately, so I have to do this as a voiceover. I'm so sorry. So this is the inspiration. It's from an Instagram artist, and right now I'm going to block my brows. So you want to brush them in the opposite direction that they grow, and then I cover them in spirit gum. You can also cover them in glue if you want. Stick glue, though. None of that. <laughs> Other glue. Waiting until it gets a little bit tacky. I'm moisturizing my lips as well just because, you know, my lips be crusty these days. Here I am stretching the brow upwards so that when I apply the cream, it, you know, lays flat. So here I am using the Flash Palette by Makeup Forever. It's best to use peachy shades because peachy and orange shades hide the, you know, darker discolorations or colors which is why we use orange to color correct so I just put that all on my eyebrow with a with <laughs> a beauty blender and then I bake it my tongue literally wasn't moving just now then I'm gonna dust everything off with my micro smooth powder make my face all nice and smooth and set and do a little dance do a little dance ah, 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 ah. and this is the beginning of the face chart these are just some squigglies that are on the forehead pretty easy and then we just draw the base of the eye which is just these two circles that make me look like a really crazy butterfly <laughs> it's funny and now you're gonna just draw some petals as you can see I'm using a gel liner just because I want to make sure that everything stays in place and nothing runs if I start to sweat which I do quite often <laughs> and butterfly time now I'm gonna draw this weird lotus shape and you're gonna want to make sure that this is kind of in the center of your chin and not like how I draw it because you know I'm terrible at drawing anything straight so as you can see I'm filling in and now we're gonna go in with the shadows Here's the issue, guys. My camera did not record when I did this eye. So we're just going to point it out. So the first thing you want to do is either start with a white or blue base and go in with blue eyeshadow. First thing. Now the second thing, I go in with a black eyeshadow. As you can see, as my face comes front, it's around my eye in like a little smoky eye fashion. It's also going into my brows, around the side of the eye, and then under my, like, inner corner. You can see it there, right? That's step two. Step three now is to highlight the eye so it brings it more forward. I use the white eyeshadow and I place it, here we go, in between the brow bone and the little smoky eye that we created. And I also place it in between the black side and black inner corner so you have that little space and then you're gonna just put it a lot of it actually on the inner corner to create a very very highlighted eye and that's how I created this eye now we're gonna go in with the detail work so here I am drawing this line you want to draw it from a bit of the top of the air and you see the shape there curve it down then you're just gonna Buff all your black eyeshadow down. Make sure you clean up any edges that are on the outside. You see I'm cleaning up right here. Don't want any powder on the outside of there. I want that clear. Now I'm going in with a, bl a, bl a, br a brown shadow. And I'm blending that down in circular motions just to create like a fade. Going in with the same brown shadow across my forehead. And now we're going to draw our weird nose. Which goes all the way 
around the nostrils. So you're going to paint the entire nose black. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Cute face. Going in with my trusty white. Uh, here I am just highlighting the spots that we had put the white in previously. And then I'm highlighting the corners of our little skull. This isn't in the drawing itself, but I wanted to add it just because I want, I, you know, I love white eyeliner. Y'all know this by now. Here I am just putting some white around my face. Later on, I dust the one off of my forehead and I just keep it in the space on my nose and by my cheeks. I don't keep that white on my forehead. I didn't like it after a while. And this is just me drawing some, some teeth. Um, this was kind of challenging for me in the end just because I made like a boo-boo. I put too much of the black lipstick on I, it went too far as you can see so instead of looking like a straight line it looked kind of rounded on my mouth so what I needed to do was put a thin 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 line of that black lipstick from Moda and Cos Moda Makeup and put way more of the white to make my teeth look longer so right now I have like baby teeth which is terrible I needed full adult teeth but that didn't happen for me now I'm just going to shade some more, and more, and more. You can really put this shading any place you want. I just, oh, this is some <laughs> Sheet Freak mixed with Trophy Wife, because Trophy Wife does not leave your brush. And I highlighted my nose just for kicks. Now we're going to create a little gem. I'm just going to use my glue gun. And you all saw that. I made the shape and then I took it off and then I'm going to use some eyelash glue to stick it onto the center of my forehead. After I place it where I want it to go, I'm going to go in with eyeshadow, go in with the same blue and I basically just dye it on my forehead. And then I highlight it a little bit with some white. Y'all know what comes next. Slow-mo time. Okay, I've added my Shaka Khan wig, and we are scary, but fierce, fierce, but scary, darling. Mm -hmm. So this is the look, this is day 15, and I'll see you on day 16.